Hello and welcome to another Full Bean tutorial. I'm going to describe how I set up the Starlink satellite uh, system at my home. I got an email notifying me that the Starlink kit was available for pre-order on the 19th of February of 2021. So I immediately uh, put in a $99 deposit, which is refundable in the event I changed my mind. Um, my order was confirmed, and you'll notice that I've circled the Ethernet ports that came with the system at that point. This was with the round satellite receiver. They later switched over to a rectangular satellite receiver, which didn't include Ethernet ports. You could add them with a dongle, but they didn't come in the basic kit. They got my money, confirmed that. And on the 15th of December of 2021, I was informed that my order was ready to ship. I paid the remaining fees and that order was confirmed on the 18th of December and I got it on the 20th of December. What follows is a series of images of the unboxing. It was very well packed. This is hard plastic that protect everything in the box. What you see here is the, uh, the base that's designed for mounting the satellite on a flat horizontal surface and the stock attached to the rectangular satellite. I didn't end up using the base that you see there. More images of the same. Here you see the large rectangle, which is the satellite dish the smaller rectangle, which is the router and 75 feet of cable that can be unplugged from either end. Here's a poor picture of the connection on the stock of the satellite where you plug in the cable. This is the plug end that goes into that area. Here you see another shot of the Starlink router on the left and the Starlink satellite on the right. This is the base of the Starlink router where you see the power cable plugging in. Another shot of both ends of the cable. You'll notice O-rings there to make the connection more weather tight. This is uh, the stock and the arrow shows where you insert the cable. I had to purchase a, an adapter in order to complete the installation that I wanted, which was at the end of a two inch galvanized pipe. The adapter uh, was very well made and came with a series of set screws so that you could install it on pipe up to two and a half inches in diameter with longer screws if you were using a smaller diameter pipe. This is an image of the Ethernet adapter 
and it plugs in between the end of the cable and uh, the router. Here's a diagram showing that. This is the installation on the gable end of my roof. The dish automatically orients itself to the satellites in the sky. Uh, it needs to be able to turn freely, uh, both rotating and tipping up and down. This is the internet speed that I had prior to um, the Starlink installation. This is the speed that I got the first time that I connected uh, the Starlink setup. I've taken um, a video of some notes that I wrote up on the installation so that you can read them at your leisure. I also put uh, a copy of this in the comments. Everything that's highlighted in blue is a hyperlink. Not here, but uh, in the, the links. More information. And finally, here's a graphic showing the speeds that I've been getting uh, with the Starlink satellite. Uh, those are most of them. And in the red box, you see the speeds that I got prior to its installation. One observation, I have the Starlink uh, router set to bypass mode so that I can use my Netgear mesh router uh, to allocate addresses. I have about 40 assigned addresses uh, through the mesh system, and I wanted to be able to take advantage of that. I also wanted to be able to connect to both Wi-Fi and Ethernet which is the reason that I insisted upon installing the Ethernet adapter. At any rate, that's the saga of my Starlink installation. I hope that you found this video to be useful. Thank you for watching.